don't wait. Don't wait to do the things that are on your heart, that you're inspired to do, because the day might never come. Get going now, even if it's even if it's one move you can make towards your dream, if it's like a making a reservation, making a deposit, telling someone else that you're going to be doing it, just make that one move and start going and and spirit will help move you forward. Just sh just show that you're going to do it because you don't know when your last day is going to be. We are all one. Everything is going to be okay. And uh, it's a fun ride. Enjoy it. Don't be afraid to love, but to really love with all your heart and give it everything you've got. Um, that's our best gift. It's our, uh, it's our gift. It's a gift. And, and to just, if you're afraid, push through the fear, through whatever that stinking thinking is, and get through it and really love and be loved and give love and receive love and, and, uh, and open up to all that love. That is your gift. If you're not doing what you want to do and you're not following your dreams, then you're going to have to take some time out to say what your life is really about, Finn. You're going to get caught up in the day-to-day -day and the ins and outs. Yeah. But at some point, you're going to have to stop and reflect and, you know, say, what do I really want, you know, out of my life? And I would say, live that because this is all it's just so temporary yeah. and, I, and i hate to see people just you know not do what they really want to do that there are many things in life that are a distraction many many things in life that seem important but but when we reach the very end of life we realize that they weren't and from my experience one of the profound breakthroughs is realizing that Hure, God, is here and now, and that we have an opportunity in this lifetime, almost like a portal that suddenly appears before us, and it's there for just a moment. If we choose to walk through it, we can step into a whole other reality or universe, or it can pass us by. And so this is like, to me, it's like God is giving individuals a gift, and they can open it, they could shake it and say, what is this, you know, where they can open it and see what's inside. After all the trauma that I've experienced, I think that this life is perfect. I think that it's an amazing opportunity. As long as you don't allow allow the, the pain, the trauma, the identity issues, confusion that co can come from being here to distract you from what you want from this experience. You choose what you want from this experience, you get it. If you get it and you choose, a, you can choose again, something else that you want. That's the opportunity that you have here is to create a reality that you want, not to come here and to plug yourself into tired old philosophies and software that are going to keep you keep this place the exact same way that it is. And it's a state that we can agree that isn't as peaceful as it could be on even on the exterior, you know, deeply looking deeper at it. Sometimes I think it's perfect still. It's working the way that it's supposed to work, you know, but we just have to wake up so that it looks better and feels better to everyone. Every moment matters, and where it matters is in your soul. My positive message is to hug, physically hug, genuinely hug, hug for a long time. When we hug, we release hormone of happiness. When we hug, we start to remember that we are soul first. And once you remember that, you will know your purpose, and you will want to do good, and spread the good energy around. I'll leave it with this. One of the most powerful tools you have on your journey is commitment. The commitment to do whatever you say you're going to do. And you start small. If you say, I'm going to do the dishes every day after dinner for seven days, you do it. You finish it. If you say, I'm going to walk around the block for a week, you walk around the block for a week. And you keep your commitment. Eventually you make bigger commitments and bigger commitments and you keep those and you start building your own power, building your own strength. You start building the, the self-confidence that you will be able, you can and will do whatever you set your mind to. So eventually if you start saying, I want to know what God is, I want to really know what happens after I die, I want to really know what truth is, then you know you'll have the energy to finish that commitment as well. Ignore people um, that project 
negativity in your direction. You are you, uh, do you, and I heard a quote that stuck with me. I might butcher this, forgive me y'all, but it, it kind of went something like, uh, if you die now, you should be ashamed if you haven't done something positive for mankind. I probably butchered that, but that was the sum of it. Right. And I just feel like you're one of the lucky ones to get a chance to experience this third dimensional process, to have one of these bodies. And if you don't do something uh, positive with it, then I kind of feel like you're doing it a disservice. Right. So do what you want and help others and you know, be careful what you say. The universe will take that and carry it, and it will take your intentions with it. Pay attention to everybody around you every day. Even people who you might normally think, uh, uh, maybe like a homeless person, oh, you say, oh man, look at that poor soul. Or pay attention to that person. Pay attention to everybody that you're at a restaurant eating dinner with your family pay attention to all the people around you they're all connected to you in such amazing ways i can't even tell you right now because it would take too much time but everybody in that restaurant with you or in that store you're shopping in or in the hospital wherever you're at those are everybody every single soul that you see is connected to you and some are angels and uh, usually um, for some reason, the, the angels or help or guides or helpers that I've been able to interact with so far, they come to me either as drunks or janitors uh, or homeless people. Those three things. Hmm. Uh, those are people you normally don't even pay attention to when you're walking down the street. You're just like, oh, yeah, somebody's living in a box there. Stop. Say hi to that stranger. Uh, if you're at the if you're at doctor's office or in a waiting room, talk to the people around you. They hold secrets to your life sometimes. <laughs> Live the best life you can. This is not it. This world and this life that we l live is not the end. There is something afterwards, and it's something to look forward to especially when you're somebody who doesn't necessarily have the best life, the best living situation. And just to know that fearing death is the opposite of what we should be doing. We should be embracing death um, when our time comes, you know, but just to know that there is, there is more out there and there are beings and people looking after us and have our best interests in their in their minds and we're in their hands I think. Billy Meyer has often said the human being is the smith of their own destiny we forge our own destiny we do that by learning how to think, how thinking works how thoughts lead to feelings lead to thoughts, lead to actions, and that the immutable law, universal law of cause and effect, is an equal opportunity provider offender, depending on how we work with it. And when we learn all this, then we are able to, even as we begin to learn those principles, we are more able to responsibly create the destiny, the lives we prefer. I very much hope that everyone listening has amazing, good dreams. And uh, I think lucidity is something that is free and accessible and healthy and brilliant and life affirming and life enhancing for every single human being on this planet. And um, if we could just remember the dream space, I think we could make great improvements to the world and our lives. Jesus loves you with all of his heart. And if you're struggling, if you are in pain, if you need help, even if you, you know, you've never prayed before, just say his name. 
there's, you know, just say his name, Jesus, Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. You know, going through my leukemia journey, there was times where I couldn't even get the words together to pray because I was in so much pain and I would just call out his name, Jesus. And the overwhelming peace that I felt when I would say his name, I knew that he was with me. And I know that he can be with you guys too. If you just call out his name, Jesus. In anything we do in life, in anything we do, wherever we're at, whatever our coordinates are, whoever we're dealing with, if you just constantly remember that we are more than we suppose ourselves to be, if you just keep that in the back of your mind until you become a part of that statement, it may be abstract to you right now. But the more you dwell on that one statement, we are more than we suppose ourselves to be, reality will reciprocate and you will start becoming more than you were before. I believe we're here, all here for a purpose. And it's to grow and expand and especially open hearts because it changes everything when your heart is open. It changes your relationship to, to your life, to other people, to why you're here, what your purpose is. That despite what you see in the world happening now, that there's a purpose to it all. There's the, the things that have been holding humanity back and have, have I call them kind of like parasites, siphoning off energy for it to feed itself. That what you see out in the world is just them going away. And I don't think people understand the magnitude of what this world can be without that influence holding us back anymore. Um, so there's a, there's a whole new possibility, a whole new world being created, but we just have to go through this process of letting go of the things that have been holding us back. So stay, stay strong, stay learning, open up your mind and um, recognize that most of what we've been taught, the, the, the old idea of what, forget everything you think you know, right? And so be open to that because some things might come out that might shock people of what's the real, what the world has really been. And understand that it's all for the better for humanity. I think all of us have a little angel inside of us if we can just tap into it. One trick that I like to give to people, uh, because a lot of people, I, I, I've heard this from people who want to manifest stuff in their, in their life. For example, let's say you want whatever it is, a new car or this or that. Uh, I, I like to share this trick that I learned and it works. If you try to manifest something in your life, it's important not to want, not to want it. Because if you, for example, let's say you want a new car and you, if you focus on having a new car, act like you have the car. You, you have to be in a fulfilled state. The car is there or whatever object you want or whatever. Don't want. It's important that if you, if you focus on wanting, if you want something, the universe will mirror that and if you want it, it'll, it'll, well, it won't give you because you want it. You'll, you'll stay in the state of wanting it. So the, when, the best thing is never to want something. Always act like you have it. If you want uh, to see, speak to an angel, well, speak to him like he's there and he'll, he'll be there. Uh, that I noticed, that's the, one of the secrets that is, um, we, we want too much. We should act like what we want is already there and feel it and, and actually say, thank you. It's already there. And uh, things go way faster. You're gonna, you'll be able to manifest a lot of stuff that way. I feel like we should, you know, start looking at our surroundings on the third dimension. I think we need to start doing that, that housekeeping that we didn't want to do with ourselves, you know, the darkness. I feel like now is the perfect time to to dig out that old cobwebs you know that you know you didn't want to touch your childhood traumas or whatever trauma you didn't want to touch um we need to start doing that immediately but i also think we need to start looking at you know our third dimension the people around us the people here on earth um 
I feel like we need to start doing that. Um, not only that, but putting putting all the pieces of puzzle together that we've, you know, like your show, um, all the information. We need to start now, instead of looking at everything individually, start putting everything together and, and start preparing for the reset. Um, it's quite sooner than, than what we think. So yeah, we need to really start getting our hands in there, Jeff. My favorite thing to tell you is please learn about yourself. Start with maybe a numerology and find your positive traits and realize that everything about you is a good thing. And even the things that you might think are a flaw, they're not. You can There's good that comes with every aspect of you. So get to like yourself. Self-awareness makes everything easier. The love and light wins in the end. <laughs> yes. It's already won. Yes, it, and it is. It's it's keeping the distractions out of our lives and really focusing inward. And I know that's kind of cliche, you know, focus inward. But if you eliminate the distractions, it. And I, I'm a true testament to that. I, I'm a, I was a true avid. You know, you mentioned law enforcement and and you know news watcher. When I eliminated that from my life and eliminated all news from my life, um, I really found the inward pe- inward peace, and I could really see the expansiveness of of humanity from that point instead of the distractions that were overlaid upon everybody. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Trust in the process. It sounds like a, a clinical psychologist, you know, you know, giveaway that that you always hear. But do trust in the process, and um, really. Um, what my guides were trying to show me is that truly we are unlimited. We're only limited by our own beliefs that we're limited. And um, once you, it's sort of like, you know, you think you can't do something, you try it, you, you find, you interview other people, ask them how to do it, and you learn to do it. And that's kind of it. You know, you just kind of throw yourself in there, take the risks and and do it so you have no regrets i you know i once had a client that said she was a little older she goes oh i'm too old to go back to school i said well what if you live 20 more years what's what's three or four more years out of that and she goes oh yeah you're right (laughs) it really is all about love and and i believe that that most of the problems in the world stem from a lack a massive lack of self-love and the more we can really come to be to love ourselves and be authentic in the world the happier our lives are and um we we are deeply loved we have so much help as we go through life we just have to ask for it and um the chaotic times that we're going through now are really kind of this is what's supposed to happen because the the old the old stuff that is no longer working needs to kind of break down so that we can build new and uh we all knew that this was going to happen when we signed on to come here and um everything's you know we might go through some tough times but everything's exactly the way it's supposed to be everything points to um, consciousness evolving and there are uh, let's call them superhuman beings on this planet who are here to inspire us and, and, and help guide us through this difficult time even though from for the time being it's from behind the scenes and you know they uh, the, the extraterrestrials are here in support of this this momentous uh, time in, in human history it may not look like it the world world conditions may look um, disastrous, um, but it in fact means that we are coming to the point where we will be forced to make a decision. And you know, uh, uh, united we stand, divided we fall. That's the realization uh, the whole of humanity will come to uh, pretty soon uh, with the way things are going now. And um, it you know. It, I cannot describe uh, the sense of optimism that I'm having about this this current situation um, because of the 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 help that uh, that we can count on, the help that is here, even if it's invisible to to many people. 
Um, but it's you know it, we're facing a brilliant future if we if we're just ready to accept and 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 choose uh, the right way forward. Uh, leave behind the old ways of competition and and based on a false sense of separation and accept that we are one human family, share the same planetary home, and work together towards the safe progress of our of our evolution and our civilization. Thanks for watching the Jeff Mara podcast. I really appreciate you. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. And if you do, there are loyalty badges and other perks depending on your level of membership. All you need to do is click the join button underneath the video to find out more. Thank you for your support.